the state of mind, the state of being. We all hear about being in the state, right? We all do that and we are listening to different gurus and different teachers who are teaching us to be in the state that you want to be in that is going to produce what you want. So as you're in the right state of mind, maybe you're asking yourself, why do people keep talking about this so much, but no one's teaching on how to get into this state of being, how to get into this state of mind? Because you know what? It is simple and it doesn't have to be hard. The thing is, it takes consistent trying, consistent doing. We just threw trying out there just to catch your attention because usually when we say try, you know for a fact that it is setting you up to fail which we never want to do but by saying try that little part of your brain says okay if I try and it doesn't work it's not my fault because I tried right that comes about so let's be aware of what our desires are what do you want for your life what do you want to have happen what do you want to come well how do you want to live where do you want to live what type of a home do you want to live in? What kind of a car do you want to drive? Just ask yourself those simple questions. What do I want? And when you go through your day, you're going to go through your day and you're going to say, well, you know what? Nothing is working out for me. Nothing is happening. Nothing is coming about. I've tried the focusing. I've tried the meditation and it's just not working. Well, the thing is, you have to know first where your state of mind, your state of being is. And when you know where it comes from, and we're going to tell you that right now because it's been held a secret. And it has been put out there, I should say, to be people like constantly, but nobody's paying attention. So I'm going to break it down into simple little steps here on exactly what the state of mind is and the state of being. And not just that, how to get in there and how to keep getting in there. Now you may say, oh, well, I want to get into my state of mind and my state of being. And I want to stay there. Well, you know, that's not possible for you to stay there all the time. Because, get this guys, be, pay attention, take notes, listen to this. Because the state of mind, your state of being is energy. It is frequency. It is feeling. It is emotion. It is thoughts and those thoughts being you have billions of thoughts every day maybe even trillions who knows where your mind is you have these thoughts every single day so as you do you're going to look at okay I have these thoughts they keep coming and going and flowing and just ebbing and all over the place well thoughts and feelings are frequencies because we always have a frequency we're emitting and so we attract back to us based on the frequencies we emit. So if you're in a state of mind and you're feeling sad, you're feeling just everything, nothing is working, everything is sad, your whole life is sad, something happened that made you sad, that is a state of mind. And you're sad. That is a sad state of mind. So that frequency is what you're putting out. And that frequency is what you will receive back. Okay. So and if you're feeling in a state of. Let's see. Let's go with another one. Of nothing's working out for me. Nothing is working out for me. Nothing is happy. Nothing is. I keep trying and I keep failing. And nothing is working out for me. Keep in mind guys. Failure is only a stepping stone to success. So keep that in mind. But what happens is when you get in that state of mind of being that nothing's working out for me, nothing's happening. Why is nothing working out the way I want it to? Why is nothing working out for me? Then that is a state and you will be in that state and you will return that back to you. That is a frequency. It's a vibration. It's an emotion that attracts back to you that. If you're in a happy, joyful, you know, ecstatic state. Things are working out. Everything is great. You're happy. You're with your family. You're with your. You're doing your job, and everything's working out. You're attracting back to you everything that's making you happy. That's a state. So be in that state. You will attract back to you what is making you happy. See, each thing we do in every aspect of our lives is a state. It's a frequency. It's an emotional frequency. 
Your emotions are very powerful. Your words are very powerful. And they are a frequency of energy vibration that will attract back to you what it is you're putting out there. So my question for you right now is how do you go to bed at night? I don't mean, you know, what do you do? But when you go to bed at night, are you in a happy, contented, just a great state of, you know, my day was perfectly great. I'm so happy. I'm joyful. Or do you go through your day re just reiterating everything you didn't do or everything you have left to do that you're putting off till tomorrow? Or what, you know, are you just sad? Are you grumpy? What state are you in when you go to bed? Because nine out of ten times, nine and a half out of ten times, you will be in that frequency throughout your sleep. And maybe you'll have an okay sleep. Maybe you'll have a up and down sleep. But when you wake up in the morning, you'll still be in that same frequency. Because that is a frequency you went to sleep in. And this is why I always suggest when you're going to bed at night, be in a happy, contented thought. And, you know, maybe use your imagination. Create something great for yourself in your imagination as you're falling asleep. That is an energy frequency vibration right there. That will attract back to you what it is you want. Beliefs are the key, guys. You have to believe in yourself. You have to believe that what you want and desire is what you are meant to have. You deserve to have. When you believe that wholeheartedly down in your heart, you're going to find that everything you want is going to come forward. Everything is going to produce itself in ways that you may not even know are happening but that's okay because each state of mind that we are in <coughs> excuse me <coughs> pardon me it comes from our thoughts our feelings our emotions and we may go through our day and be in 10 different states you may go from a happy state to a grumpy state to a woohoo my business is really kicking off it's taking off it's doing great I'm getting sales, I'm getting leads, I'm making money. Or maybe you're in the state, well, why isn't my business working? Why is nothing working for me? Why am I doing all this? Why am I putting it out there? Why am I doing what the gurus do, but it's not working? That's a good question. So use the training and use the tools that we're giving you because you're going to find that when you do that and you get into a state of being, a state of mind, where you believe in what you're doing, you believe that this is what you started and this is what just meant for you, you're going to find that more and more of that's going to come forward for you. So be that person who is on top of things, who is just being successful, who is happy and healthy and wealthy at everything you do. So everything you do, like I said, is a state of mind. It's a state of being. You can be in different states throughout your whole day but the thing is you don't have to stay in one state you can change your emotions you can change your vibrations if you're in just a really grumpy irritated mood meditate it's the fastest way or take a nap fastest way to get out of that is to meditate or take a nap clear your mind let it go and then you will find you will be able to get into a state where it's going to be profitable and productive for you that's what it's all about guys we I can teach you how to grow your business I can teach you how to to contact leads I can teach you how to do all this stuff through the different trainings that I give you but if you don't have a belief in yourself then everything I teach you is going to go out the window and you're not going to grasp onto it and you're not going to learn from it so learn from what we're teaching you here and learn from your own inner being that is guiding you along the way so do all these things and just get out there and show the world who you are and what you're doing. You're amazing. You just have to let yourself see that and be that and do that. Okay? It can be as simple as you want it to be or it can be as hard as you want it to be. It's always and forever up to you what you do or don't do.